hello welcome to my educational channel in this video we'll know how to calculate the volume between contours by applying the end area method without wasting time let's get started with going through the question paper of 2022 july series for diploma year 3 building civil engineering and architecture trainees Let's go ahead. Question 6B goes by. So the figure below shows the height of contours and the areas enclosed. Calculate the volume between contours 145 meters and 120 meters by use of end area method. Then the diagram provided to us, we can see uh, this is an an example of a reservoir with sports heights uh, they are written in contours so there we have a contour interval between 150 and 120 meters then here our areas enclosed are given on the right hand of that diagram you can see the areas there then we have a water level of 148 meters then we have a wall of the dam so that wall of the dam describes the whole concept uh, having finished going through the question we go ahead uh, in this is a typical case of volume in which the finished surface is leveled the volume is calculated by assuming it as being divided up into a number of horizontal slides by contour planes let's start with understanding the formula to apply and by the looks of the question we are to use the end area method the volume can be calculated by this formula so V is equals to H over 2 into brackets area 1 plus area 2 where A is the area of the successful contours as shown in the diagram above H is the contour interval and V is the capacity of the reservoir first we find the volume of the empty reservoir and the height difference between the top contours of 150 meters and the water level provided which is 148 meter the answer is divided by 2 after which we multiply the sum of the two enclosed areas so by the looks there in the diagram so first we find the empty reservoir so in the empty reservoir the capacity of the empty reservoir so the empty reservoir uh, lies in the contour 150 to the contour 148 that is the where our water level reaches so going back to the formula so v will be equals to so the height that is the height difference the contour interval so 150 minus 148 over 2 then into brackets our areas have been provided there having done that we'll get our volume for the empty reservoir so that is after a proper calculation that is the answer we get having finished that let's move to our second calculation of finding the full reservoir in this case our formula of the end area method becomes fully resembling that of the trapez or the trapezoidal rule or the trapezium rule taking the 150 meter as the bottom level of the reservoir and the 150 meters as the top level we calculate the capacity of the full reservoir and in our formula the trapezoidal resembling formula will be v is equals to h over 2 
into brackets our first area plus our last area we close the bracket plus 2 times addition of the rest of the areas found in between them then we close our brackets so in our second we find the full reservoir uh, we can see v will be equals to so that will be 5 the difference in the contours uh, 5 meters so over 2 into brackets our first area plus our last area we close the brackets plus 2 into brackets are uh, all our remaining areas uh, having done that we'll get our total as 319 1750 meter cubed lastly we solve the volume for the water capacitor by subtracting the full reservoir by the empty reservoir at the top which we had calculated so that will be uh, 319,750 minus 28,800 giving us our answer as 290,950 meter cubed so I will provide as a PDF for the same to aid you in following as you go on in learning uh, that will be all